What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. That's not the page I wanted to be on. This is the page I wanted to be on. Boom. Goes the dynamite. All right. This is a great article from a very great publication from a very promising development team. Um, for those of you that don't know who, let's start with the publishing, the pu publishing entity first. For those of you that don't know who GameIndustry.biz is, you're just not in the know <laughs> of gaming news. Uh, GameIndustry.biz is like what I like to associate as the uh, Associated Press of Gaming News, I say that because whenever large entities within the gaming community have news that they want to spread to the masses and they don't have time to really do sit downs, they send a blast feed to GameIndustry.News and like the Associated Press, it, it all filters from them. You know what I'm saying? So um, to give you some examples, there were uh, th th there was the publication uh, where uh, Microsoft sent a direct notice to GameIndustry.Biz that says, hey, look, we're no longer looking to spread our exclusive titles to other platforms. We're going to start solely making them for our ecosystem. You know, after a couple of bouts back and forth with Sony, and Sony just kept their foot on their neck. It seemed like they, they, they got pissed off, right? And then uh, more recently, when Sony announced that they weren't coming to E3, you know, they sent a blast feed to GameIndustry.biz and it filtered from them. So very important in the gaming news cycle. Um, now, as far as Tequila Works is concerned, Tequila Works is a small developer. They've built themselves a name within the, the short time that they've been developing. And they develop a game called Guilt. Guilt um, is an exclusive to Stadia. Um, and um, it, started, it, it came with Stadia at launch. And they have other games, I think uh, uh, Deadlight and Rhyme are some of their more um, known games that they've done. And in working with Stadia exclusively, Tequila Works brings up a very good comparison in my mind. You know what I'm saying? And one that's not way off, but this may be shocking news to many except for those of us that play Stadia because we know that it works. We haven't listened to the Bibble Babble out there in the ethos. You know what I'm saying? So what is this comparison that they're making? Well, they're saying that um, Google Stadia is like the early days of Steam, says Tequila Works CEO. Developer of Stadia Exclusive Guilt believes platform hasn't reached its potential yet, but the game streaming service will only get better. This is a great article. I'll leave a link to the article in the uh, comment section below. And in the description, I'm not going to read it all because what Game Industry Biz tends to do is they tend to give you lengthy, full length, in-depth articles, which is great to read, but not great for me to read back to you <laughs> on a video such as this. I'll just get to the meaty portions. Um, first and foremost, they say that they, as in Stadia, have been a very good partner and I only have very good words for the Stadia team, um, he says. Most of them are coming from PlayStation, so maybe because they were familiar with the process, but they've been very hands-off, meaning um, how they've interacted with them in making this, this exclusive title guilt. Um, they've been very hands-off. They, have, they haven't imposed anything. The whole thing about Google is that they have all this influx of data, all this analysis of user tests. Most of the time, it was facts, like where people were getting stuck in the game, rather. Artistic oversight. So it has been very hands off all right and also um a, a more interesting quote from them is or from rubio is this is my personal opinion but this is like the early days of steam Perfect. in a sense that this is when people were complaining that it took too long to download and then the download would stop and people were complaining the price was exactly the same as the box game says rubio it's going to get better in fact one day when we look back, people will wonder why people were questioning streaming at all. I think that's very interesting. And then lastly, to top it off, the, one of the more interesting quotes that I have here from Rubio is that 
People are totally right to be worried. It's a new technology. Historically, streaming solutions didn't work. I think it's the time, in a sense, in that the technology is there and the audience is there. And to be honest, the contest, content wars are here. Stadia has a lot of potential. It has reached its, it hasn't reached its full potential yet. I think that was never the idea with the small, soft launch. And I totally agree with that. I know that they were making to make it better, working to make it better every day. I know it's going to get better because there are a few features that are going to blow people's minds. Okay. So I read that to say this. First and foremost, like I said earlier, this is not a surprise to people like myself who have had stayed in my hands. I get a lot of naysayers that come back to me and say, why are you pumping this thing up? It's not on the big stage and you're looking like a fool. But I'm not part of the idiot herd. I'm not part of the outrage culture. I don't gain experience by just going tippity tap, tippity tap, tap, tap. I I'm not one of those armchair quarterbacks. I get my hands on stuff. I do my due diligence and I work from a place of knowledge, okay? A lot of people work from a place of wanting to belong. <laughs> I have no such desire. I just want to have knowledge because me belonging to you, once the idiotcy gets exposed, then I'm lost in the sauce, okay? So knowledge, knowledge stays, belonging fades, okay? So, now that I have Stadia in my hands, it is, and I was a doubter at first before I got it in my hands. I had my doubts. Once I got it in my hands, I feel the same way that Rubio does. You know what I'm saying? That this, this not, it has not reached its full potential. All right. And that's just a fact because Google has made hardcore investments for the long term. They've uh, even recently, well, they've bought studios and then there's recent talks that Google has picked up some streamers. And we know that them streamers are going to be doing Google content. I mean, Google Stadia content. And we'll talk about that in another video, right? But that's a given. Y'all know that, right? So there's going to be investments in the long term. Don't listen to the foolish outlets like googlegraveyard.com. We covered those in another video along with our friends at Generation Stadia and how foolish sites like that are. That being said, point number two is that this Steam comparison, I think, is very key. A lot of you guys listening to this don't remember that, and you're scratching your head like, what? People thought that Steam uh, hated Steam? Yeah, when Steam first came out. Let me go back a little bit. PC gaming pretty much was dead <laughs> for a while. It was dead. Even the staunchest PC gamers that have been gaming for decades will tell you that. It was dead for a while. Um, and then Steam, Steam single-handedly brought it back. You know, Steam made it affordable, made it you know easily easy to access, easy to upgrade games and and, and deal with uh, you know ins installations and stuff like that. But it had to start from somewhere. So as stewards of this new ecosystem, this new platform that was going to distribute you games, it had a lot of kinks that it had to work out at the beginning. But they worked every day, worked hard every day, gave new own company Valve to make this the platform that it is today. And the same thing is being echoed in Rubio in this article as it relates to Stadia. So I think that's a very relevant, very relevant uh, quote um, in comparison. And lastly, yeah, the, the potential has not even been tapped because, you know, we know what it can do. But in addition to that, all we need Stadia to do is three things. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, we need them to communicate better. They got to get better at the communication. I know they're, they got their heads buried doing the hard work, but if they communicate better, then boom, that'll make us more comfortable. All right. Secondly, you know what I mean? Come through with these, come through with these implementations. Okay. Have these features that will blow our minds and have them present. Okay. And lastly, Come with the damn games <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was great news and we'll talk about that in a later video but it was great news to see that doom eternal was releasing on stadia day and date with everything else because in all likelihood i surmise that there might be a 60 frames per second mode on consoles because that's what they like to do with with, with, with doom but i still think that it'll still perform better on um stadia being that um stadia hits 60 frames way more consistently than consoles right now okay 
So if they do those three things, then it's only self-evident that it, the, the platform will grow. You know what I mean? Again, newer technology, new delivery system. You get a lot of naysayers, a lot of antsy people. Even Rubio himself says he, he gets why people may be skeptic. But again, there is too much access to this platform in the form of buddy passes and all types of cheap ways to get, you know, don't, again, if you're going to make an argument, make the argument from a place of knowledge. Don't be a naysayer just because you want to belong. Again, knowledge stays belonging phase with that being said that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always tell you who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say you can catch me on the corner every boulevard baby check out the links below to find me those links will lead you to broadband bullies pnts network hard not digital culture and of course here the stadia dosage with that being said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day Peace.